guys welcome to my next video i'll continuing the series of uh, videos of uh, some of the unix based interview questions which you might expect in the interview so today i'll discuss with some of the uh, special variables in unix again this is a very standard questions where interviewer ask you uh, some of the special variables which unix offers so let's start so special variables in unix start with dollar so first uh, to demonstrate all the uh, special variables let me write a small script in uh, ai um, let me call it as special variables dot sh okay. the first one is Echo, sorry, sorry for that. Echo file name dollar zero. This is one of the special variables. Whenever you say dollar zero, it should display the file name or the uh, file name which you are executing. Uh, this is the first variable and uh, first argument which you are sending to the file or executable file that is dollar one second argument i'm just putting those echo statements just to demonstrate to you what i am trying to say the dollar one dollar two uh, up to dollar nine uh, and so on they represent uh, it displays the arguments which you are sending it holds the information of the arguments which you are sending uh, it will be more clear when i actually run the script uh, next one is there is one more called dollar star uh, it it will be having all the all the arguments which you are sending to the file again it will be more clear when i actually run the script Double star and uh, last but not the least one more is dollar hash it basically it has the total number of arguments which you are sending to the this script. So, okay. Now I completed the script. So let me save it and uh, let me make it uh, executable file so that I can run. Yeah. Now I'll run like this. The first here, I'll just to demonstrate this script. I'll what I'll do is I'll specify the way arguments. Like first one is uh, maybe I'll say apple, then say banana. Apple is the first argument, and dollar uh, zero is uh, nothing but the uh, file name. That is a special variable dot sh dollar zero should contain this special variable dot sh and dollar one dollar zero should con dollar one should contain apple and dollar two should contain banana and the total number of if i run this what you can see is here it's showing file name is dollar zero that is a file name and first argument is apple that is a dollar one banana dollar two and all the arguments excluding the file name 
it will be showed here with the dollar star and the total number of arguments is 2 again it excludes uh, file name itself uh, yeah hope you understood uh, uh, some of the special variables uh, there are few other special variables which again often asked in the interview for example how you find the return code of the previous command of your execution for example i will what i'll do is uh, the prefix ls special which i just now created okay just to see whether this command is successful or not what you need to do is down the question mark and press enter so when, when the return code is zero most often in unix zero signifies that the command is successful and any value other than zero signifies the command is unsuccessful so for example suppose if i say since file is not existed this file is not existed see if you return error so now if i check the error code error code ideally should not be zero any value other than zero now it should do it means the command previous command ls has failed okay now let me explain a couple of other special variables which again are very tricky to remember but uh, they are very often asked in interview one more called dollar uh, explanation mark this is basically what it does is show the process number of last background job which is run uh, to demonstrate this like for example ls what i'll do is i'll run in the background uh, you can run any process uh, in the background using the ampersand so you can see now what i'll do is i'll use echo dollar explanation mark it should return me the process number of last background job that is ls so process id 31752 see it returns the 31752 this matches with the previous background job which we run one last thing before i end this video is one more special variable called dollar dollar so what it signifies is the process number it returns the process number of current shell which you are executing uh, to demonstrate this just quickly show this uh, so what is this 23963 this is basically process uh, number of process id or process number of the uh, current shell which we are running to check this what i'll do is ps minus cf i'll specify this sorry uh, let me do this yes minus cf i just grab this pid see now you can see here this is 23963 is the current shell that is a dash shell which we are running hope these uh, special variables uh, will be helpful for you to answer in the interview so uh, please play around these uh, special variables and uh, and try to remember what those are uh, so thanks for watching i'll come up with uh, more videos please subscribe so that you will get an intimation thank you